Hello, welcome to SS Unitech Susil this side and today we are going to see about the data sets inside the ADF. So in the last videos we have seen about the link services. So today we are going to see about the data sets. So if you haven't watched the last video, so I would strongly recommend to watch that video because we are going to use the link service in this video. So let's get started with the data set. So what is data set? So data set identify the data within the link data store, such as SQL table, files of folders and documents. For example, an Azure storage link services like storage account to the data factory and Azure blob data set represent a blob container and the folder that contain the input blobs to proceed. So simply you can understand data set is the collection of the data and it is using the link service to connect with the data source. If your source is the SQL server table, then it will be going to build the connection by using the link service with the SQL server and after that will pull the data from there and store inside the data set. So that is simply data set. So here you can see the data sets are very similar to the connection managers in SSIS. So go to on the browser and we'll see in the practical. So here if you have remember we have created this ADF pipeline that is SSU training. So in this we are going to use a activity that is copy data activity. We haven't discussed about the copy data activity. So don't worry for that. In this video, we are going to only use the copy data. In the next videos, we'll be going to see in the details. And copy data activity will be going to move the data from one location to another location. That is the only use of the copy data activity. So here, as you can see, we have created this pipeline. So under this pipeline, uh, let me rename this pipeline from here. And we can call this pipeline as copy data and after that here we can see the move and transform so we can see the copy data we can drag and drop and after that here we can see the source and destination so what is our requirement so our requirement is we are having the sql server and under this we are having two tables first is the employee table and second is the employee destination table so we just want to move the data from this employee table to the employee destination table in the employee table we have these four rows and in the destination we don't have any rows till now so once our pipeline will be executed then data will be loading in this table so go to on the browser again and in this first we have to set up for the source so our source is the employee table so go to on the source side here it is asking for source data set so either we can click on this drop down and we don't have any data set here so we have to create the new data set so for creating the new data set either we can click on this new button here or we can go in the data set and click on these three dots and click on the new data set so both are same so let me click over here after that it is asking from where we want to connect so we want to connect with the azure sql so we can select that option and click on continue and after that it is asking the link service so if you haven't created any link service so let me quickly try to create the link service again so click on new and this time this is for azure sql ssu and after that here we can see we are having all these options so we want to enter everything as manual so we have to specify the domain name so this is the domain name then database name so database name is the ssu and the authentication we have to enter the id and password so this is id and let me enter the password here after that we can test the connection so here connection succeed so we can click on create so it will create a new link service with the name of azure sql ssu let me click on create so now by using this link service we are able to log in inside the sql server next we want to 
get the data from the employee table that is the part of the data set so as we can see this is created that looks good now here we can see the table so we want to select the table on which we want to get the data so this is the source one so that's why this is the employee source we can select the employee table and here let me rename this with the employee source after that we can click on ok so it will create a data set that you can see here and if we want to preview the data we can click on this preview data so it will be going to get the data as we can see four rows we had so let me close this now here we can save the changes or we can publish so let me save all the changes so everything is saved let me close this so in the source side we need to select that employee source and it is going to point out the employee table now leave everything go to the destination so in the sync side we have to create one more data set and that data set for the destination so let me click on new here and now we need to select the azure sql database click on continue and this is for the employee destination now in the link service if you have remember we have already created this azure sql ssu then we need to select the table so this is your employee destination table now we can click on ok so this is the destination connection and if we can see here inside the destination so everything is available right here let me save this so everything is saved here and in the destination everything is set up so once we are going to debug this or execute it so data should be going to load in this destination table so before that in this video we are more concerned on the data set so as you can see inside the data sets we are created these two data set first for the source and second for the destination so let me try to debug this and we'll try to validate data will be loading in the destination or not so as you can see it's in queue let me try to refresh it so here it got filled why it got filled we can see in the error log side so here we can see this error log we can click on that so it is saying like this ip is unable to communicate so if you are getting such type of error you have to go inside the your sql server that you can see here let me try to open the portal again and inside the portal here we need to go inside this sql server and under that sql server we can go in the security tab here firewall and virtual network then we need to add those ip which are unable to communicate so we can add that here and let me save this so once we save this we are able to access this sql server from this ip now let me try to debug it again so now here we can see it succeed so we can go to on the sql server and we'll try to refresh this table so it should have the four rows so here in the destination table we are having all these four rows thank you so much for watching this video if you really like this video please subscribe our channel to get many more videos we'll see in the next video